Yeah. You know, we're talking about back in the days, I mean, when you talked about the fact that, you know, athletes get support and all that. But this one is just going to be self-sponsored by channels because we we'll take a look at the fact that there's a loophole, there's a gap, you know. We, we, we saw athletes who went to the under-18 I mean, youth Olympics and all that were like, okay, people were like, are they 18 or not? But the situation like this is easy. I mean, if you have athletes competing here, I mean, under 17, not 17, under the, before they are 17. I mean, these athletes may not have the time. They may not get the chance to go to the next Olympics. But you're looking at if, when it's very close, because it's going to be every year, right? So That's when right. you have athletes who compete right now, then the next year, if it's Olympic year, you can actually have two or three that are good to go for it. Well, Olympic is um, bigger. a very big field. <laughs> I cannot guarantee that an athlete from this event will qualify, but it's possible because we have one or two athletes that has been identified before now that were part of the um, Youth Olympic Games trials and things like that. And we believe that with this type of competition, if we have regular competitions like this, mm. it makes athletes to be more prepared and get ready for a bigger one. Mm. So what we, the channel is trying to do now is just to motivate the athletes themselves because these athletes need competition. In this part of the world, there's no competition. In the U.S., when I was in the U.S., we have competition every week. Mm. So in Nigeria, we have competition every 33 months, every 66 months. It's not the best for the athletes. You train, there's period to train, there's period to compete. And the more you compete, the better you get. Mm -hmm. And that is what China is trying to bring up. Probably in the next edition, we're going to have two in one year. So oh. that's what, what we're trying to do so that the athletes can be well prepared for major championships like the World Championship and the Olympic Games. Yeah, I love that. Two in a year. That would be huge. It's very because, possible. Yes, it's two very in a year. Know, knowing that they have that opportunity, they are looking forward to it. Now, what about athletes? Well, as you mentioned, Olympics before, those who have gone for the Olympics and other maybe national sports festival, they are still in school. It's open. It doesn't really matter, professional or... It doesn't yeah. really matter. Well, to go to the Olympic, you're talking about the Olympic Games? Yeah, no, I'm talking about uh, yeah. athletes that will be competing from no, these No, this one is schools. basically, you must students. be a yeah. student. You must be a student. What, if, what about athletes who are still students in school that have competed, maybe sport festival or another event, no, no, but they still in school? Open. It's, it's okay. open. It's so it's not you're ruling them out no, as no, long no, as you are... No, under 18, okay. I am a student. The bottom line is that you must be a student because China is trying to balance education and sports. Mm. We believe without sp education, sports will get you nowhere. And life after sport is very important to the athletes. So that's what China is trying to promote sports and education. Like mm -hmm. I said, we're going to promote them after secondary school to get them admissions into higher institutions abroad. Fully paid for. Once you do well in the competition, you are guaranteed to go to school abroad. Mm -hmm. I love that part. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, I like that one as well too. But I mean, there's no way you're going to come here and we're not going to ask you about Nigerian uh, athletics. Uh, you know, generally, what is responsible for uh, the downward trend, uh, you say, a lot of people will agree, uh, that's the situation. You already revealed uh, a strategy that you intend to use uh, in terms of helping discover, uh, you know, athletes uh, from the channels, uh, track and field classics. That's, you know, partnering with, with um, schools, uh, abroad. schools abroad, especially in the United States. Uh, the college system is very robust, and I was seeing, you know, people like you as well, who have been through that system and you know, gone on to achieve uh, great things uh, on the track. Do you think that's the only thing responsible uh, for uh, Nigerian, the, the state of Nigerian athletics at the moment, the fact that, you know, that partnership uh, doesn't really exist anymore? I think the major problem in track and field sports in general is sponsorship and support. In this part of the world, everything has been left to the government. Mm. The government cannot do it alone. It's not even possible. It's not possible. All over the world, it's not government that is doing it. It's private sector, well meaning individuals that support individuals to make them to get to where they want to go. So we need that to come back. While we were growing up, we had a lot of companies that were sponsoring track and field. And that was why we had a lot of people at the national, in the national team that goes out and they are world beaters. Mm. But today, those things are no more there. The problem now is that everybody thinks government, government, government. Government cannot do you know. So I want mm. to say a big thank you to channels, right. what they are trying to do. I hope we maintain it, and I hope private sector come on board to support what China is trying to start. Mm. And that's, that would go a long way for Nigerian sports in the international globe. Mm. Absolutely. It's all yeah. about reviving Nigerian athletics, right? It's very starting, possible. It's starting very possible. with channels, uh, track and field classics, uh, which will go down. Uh, which will start on November uh, the 11th. That's going to be at the Teslin Balogun Stadium. You're all invited. 
uh, to the event. It's time to go. Before we go, thank you very much uh, for uh, coming on the show, uh, Henry and Mickey, former Nigerian athletes, and um, also the technical advisor of the channels. Track and field classics. Oh, Appreciate you're welcome. I'm so happy to be here. Always happy to be in channels. Yeah, I was going to ask right, you something about Wave and Naked, but. Wade, <laughs> 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 what do you think about him? <clears throat> Is he the greatest um, 400 meters? I don't think so. Okay, no. thank you.